we walked that journey and we began to build things back up and be intentional. And so we wanted to create a book that would tell that story. My friend Salem Thine is also a client of mine. And we have been talking about accountability, how it changes our lives. And so he uh, agreed to support the effort and to write the book with me and share his stories as well as mine and my beautiful wife, Kathy's. And so that's what the book is about. It's about this idea of learning what it is to be free through accountability, recognizing the times where you play a victim that you wouldn't, you don't recognize you're, you're being a victim. And then to get to that turning point where you look at your life and you go, look, nobody cares. Nobody cares if you're fat, broke, unhappy with your marriage. Nobody cares because they got their own junk to deal with. Nobody cares about anything unless you care enough to do something about it first. And then when that happens, people come around and rally and support you and care for you. But you got to care about it first. That's the turning point. When you say that to yourself, that's when you begin the journey to accountability. Right. I, I really like that last part about um, because right when I was thinking of that, I wasn't so like the fan of like nobody cares at all. But I, I like how you've turned at that. If you start caring about yourself, other people will show up in your life to support you because yeah. it, it, it's not like your loved ones don't care about you. Of course they do. Of course they want to see you be healthier. Of course they want to see you thrive. Of course they want to see you have these good relationships. But if they seem that you don't seem to really give a shit about yourself, then like it's it's like, you know, they're not going to pour any from their cup into yours when you keep throwing it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great way of saying that. Yeah. No, that's true. And we, we titled the book, Nobody Cares, to get people's attention. You know, it was, it was going to be called uh, Peak Accountability, the journey from victim to victor. And, and, and we thought no one's going to read that book. Yeah, this and is so, way better. Just, just, nobody cares. And, and that is the turning point. I used to say that to my son. My son, James, there's a lot of stories about James in the book about as a young man, he would blame and make excuses. And, and his stories are emblematic of the way that I looked at my life. But as an adult, as a parent, I can look at him and go, James, you just, you're just you not owning this, dude. That, that's accountability. It's the simplest terms. Accountability means you own it. And, and when you'd say, well, my teachers are this, and my, my coach won't let me play, and blah, blah, blah. Dude, who cares? Someone else is out there day and night practicing and, and pushing themselves, and they're getting playtime. So if you're not getting as much playtime as you want, don't come back and tell me the coach is unfair to you. Earn it. Do something about it. Be the hard tough driving guy. He can't resist, but to give you more play time. So I've just looked at how many times in my life I was being a victim and I wasn't aware of it. And yeah. I, I put all these little warning signs and awareness tools in the book. So you can realize when you've been caught up in a, at a time of being a victim instead of being accountable. 